look how much mud I was sitting on. Okay. <laughs> Why were you sitting on all that mud? <laughs> hey, let me see. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> Gunner. What happened to your face, dude? I looked, I looked out to see what we were doing. <laughs> How are you, Jack? What happened? Like you? I I got a little bit muddy. <laughs> Jack didn't even get muddy. I was in the middle. He was in the middle. All right, our first outing, I think, was a success. Gunner thinks he knows what he's doing, but he don't. Can I tell you just how excited and happy I am that my tractor finally arrived? You see, Daniel just showed up with it, dropped it off. We had one heck of a time trying to get it to where his truck was low enough and everything was ready to go. So we pulled it up, backed up here, had the ramps over top of this, so it dropped his tires down there, had the ramps up higher, and I'm finally ready. Now I have to get a, a loader for it. And we're gonna, we're gonna play Farmer John, or Farmer Devin. Here we go. Off the road again. La la la. I gotta fill up my tires over there. They're a little low. Now we're gonna have to clean up a spot to put the tractor. What? Let's put them right down there at the end, uh, up against that pole in that last bay. So, we got a 6420L. Uh, it just means it's the low one. It's an orchard tractor, which more or less means it's got the exhaust pipe drops down low. It's got a lower bar. Other than that, I don't know much of a difference between any of them. Uh, what this one's different than much else. But we do have to clean out a spot so we can put it in here. What do you do when you uh, own a tractor and a whole bunch of property? with stuff all over it. Well, you come out here and you back up and you try and hook up to crap because you can. And you try and move it because you can. That's what you do. You need to back it up a couple inches. Why don't you back it up? Let's see what he can do.
Okay, so we got it all, oops, got it all hooked up. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we're gonna lose that back tank. I think we might have to put a new deck on that trailer. Well, Farmer John, <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, stop. I want to drive because, you know, I'm the dad. Dads have to drive. Yeah, it is. Here we go. Ah. Now. Where should we put it? Oh, I thought you were going to check out the truck. Motion detected at your front door. Okay, get up there and drive it. It's hot. It's covered in cobwebs. Yeah, it's covered in cobwebs. It's an old Massey Ferguson. We're gonna have to. What? I want you over here when I roll that thing forward with the boys. I want you to straighten these things up so they're right under the tires. Oh, so I don't have to. Okay? No, I won't be sitting on Come on, boys. After winning my John Deere on an auction site, <clears throat> excuse me, one of my uncles called me up and told me about uh, the Massey Ferguson here that I've been eyeballing for years. The owner has finally decided to let it go. So I gave him a ring. He made me one heck of a deal. And I drove out and picked it up. I have absolutely no idea what it is other than a Massey Ferguson. What model it is, what year it is, what I have no clue. He told me that, uh, oh, I don't remember now, 5, 10, or 15 years ago, 
he drove it into his carport, parked it there, and moved and rented that house out. So the tractor has literally just sat for years. These trees weren't supposed to be here until oh, middle of February and they sent them early. Now, for what I can see, the leaves all got burned and destroyed when they got shipped. And we've done our best to give them some good soil in there. They look like the trunks are okay. But we'll see what happens. These are all uh, chestnuts. These are a couple different uh, varieties of chestnut trees. So here's to hoping they survive until it's time to really put them in the ground. Thanks for watching our video. <laughs> <laughs>